what's up lit fam welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome i'm your girl candy today and today i'm going to cook a meal that i seen off tiktok so if you want to become a part of the lit fam all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and that while not you're a part of the girl hit that notification bell notification button so that you can get notified every time i upload a video okay okay so hi guys let's jump into this video you all no <laughs> ain't no hi guys you supposed to be sick i'm not sick i'm yeah. a little bit sick okay we'll go chill out so with that being said let's go ahead and hop into it um i just got out of the shower and i'm sweating already that's why i didn't even want to come down here and cook because when you cook it's hot should i should have put this stuff in a crock pot earlier but the tiktok video it ain't they don't use crock pot so whatever um so yeah stay tuned because it's about to be lit and all that good stuff okay y'all okay, so i am using chicken thighs and i have already washed and seasoned my chicken and i'm gonna tell you what i seasoned it with and everything i'm about to use so we're gonna use some olive oil i use this onion powder tony saturated black pepper um Cajun seasoning which got garlic powder in it. I'm going to be using an onion a green bell pepper a Cream of chicken with herbs. I got two cans of that and I might use cream of mushroom I also got um, Three bags of this because I don't they use regular rice, but I didn't want to use regular rice I wanted to do something different. So I'm gonna make this rice for the first time and also chicken stock and I need a red bell pepper which my son is about to get so I have my little skillet right here it's an electric skillet because I don't want to turn on the stove so I'm about to plug plug it in right here Okay, and about to turn turn this on to about what is that? Three hundred? Yeah. And while this is marinating the season, I'm gonna take my olive oil and pour it in my pan with a half a stick of butter, which I got. Hmm. It's starting to get on my nerves. I got plant based butter. So I'm going to do that. So let's get into it. I'm going to put the skin down so I, I'm gonna put the skin down because I guess that's how you're supposed to do it like brown the skin so don't put it on the other side first put it in they so I'll just tell you a backstory about how they did it once I put this chicken on you see I'm straightening out my skin hold on I'm trying to pick it up it's, a little, it's caught by the other skin. <sighs> oh, this skin is just like, I don't know. But we finna get all these on there, people. Skin and all. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't get it. Just slipping my hand slippery from that butter. Okay, well this one don't have that many much skin. I'm gonna just throw it in there. Woo! So I 
I got six pieces in there. I got two more, but I'm going to wait a minute. And let's let them cook. Mm. Okay, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see me. So, let me just give you a backstory on how I can't found this recipe on TikTok. So, I found this recipe on TikTok. And I think they was doing... The girl that I seen, I can't, I don't know her name, so I can't quote her exactly, but she was doing like cheap meals, like cheap meals that's real good, that's affordable, and it was legs, it was chicken legs, rice, ooh, rice, and, uh, um, you know, like I said, cream of mushroom, all of my ingredients that I talked about, and I think she only paid like eleven dollars for the whole meal so and it looked it really good and how she discovered it is because she seen somebody on tiktok make it the same meal so she was trying to redo it but for a cheaper price and it still looked it fine and she said it came out bomb and all that good stuff so you know the kid i like to cook so i had to come on through with it for the one time for the one time and we're gonna see how it turned out. Oh, it's a mosquito in here. Stop that. We're gonna see how it turned out. And step by step, whole process. I'm gonna let y'all know what to do. And yeah. And while I'm waiting for my chicken to cook brown, I'm gonna flip it in about five minutes, flip to the other side. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna have to eat a cocktail. Feel me? Mm. So comment down below and let me know if you if it look good enough for you to try or if you already tried a meal like this. I think it's called like smother chicken over rice. Normally, how I cook my smother chicken is I we you know fry the chicken up, but we use flour, you know, so it get a good crisp. Season it, flour, flour. I mean, fry it, then make gravy with some onions, then put it in the gravy and then bake it and that's our smother chicken this mother chicken is a little bit different so i'm very interested in and interesting y'all know what i'm trying to say and i'm i'm very curious on how it's gonna turn out and what the taste and flavor is gonna be like because you know i'm all about flavors you know if you don't know now you know let's hop into it
So I'm done with the chicken. Actually, I still got a couple of more pieces, but as you can see, I added some legs with it because I have a big family, so they like to eat. So I added some legs, and normally what they would do is, when you see me do the step with the uh, sauteing the vegetables and putting the stuff in, they will place the chicken back into the pot to let it smother, but because I have so much chicken, I'm going to add the sauce and everything on top of the chicken stir it up and then toss it in the oven but y'all will see that step when it, i get to that step i just wanted to show y'all the chicken is brown and it's looking good very good stop playing with the cake okay and i still got a couple pieces frying over here and you know we gonna get back Okay, y'all, so what I did now is I added, I end up chopping uh, fresh garlic. So I got the, in my same grease and butter, which was olive oil and butter, I end up adding red bell pepper, onion, green bell pepper, and ooh, <laughs> that's thing, and garlic. You'll see, you see them little white pieces in there? That's the garlic. Because I don't want y'all to be like, you ain't had no garlic. So, yes, I did. It's fresh garlic in there. So, once this saute down a little bit, then, like it's sauteing now, I'm going to put it in the oven anyway. But, next, we're going to add in the chicken broth. And we're going to add a lot. Oh, shit. Ooh. So you see, and my chicken broth. We got a lot of chicken. So we're gonna add in at least half. I brought the double thing and I added half. Gonna let that come to a boil, stir it. Stir it. You could still cook. Cause see my vegetables are still kind of green and red. So you could cook that a little bit more. Um stir it up and what you're gonna get out of this is the seasoning the flavor that was on the chicken and that butter girl stop playing then next we're gonna add in the cream of chicken we're gonna add that in because this is what it said on tiktok right and i'm gonna add all three cans because i got a lot of chicken so now remember when I told you after we mix this, they normally put the chicken back into this. So if you doing a small thing of chicken, that's the mushroom, y'all. Be careful, that's the mushroom. But if you're doing a small batch of chicken, you're going to stir this up. If you're doing a small batch of chicken, then I will say you can add, once you stir this, add your chicken back in. But if you're doing like a big thing of chicken, then just... You know, make sure, make sure together, let it heat up, and then pour it on top of your chicken, and then put it in the oven, because that's the next step. We got to put this thing in the oven. So right now, I'm just basically mixing in that um, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and my cream of chicken was cream of chicken with herbs. So now I'm mixing that in, and we got a lot, see, so don't think it's a lot of liquid. We gotta mix it so once I do that and it cooks a little bit I'm gonna pour it on top of my chicken and then throw it in the oven for about 30 minutes I should say and then we'll be good so stay tuned let's see how it turned out I still gotta start but I'm gonna put this camera down so stay tuned okay y'all so I got my sauce in there with the chicken and you know the thighs is on the bottom so now I'm finna toss it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes while I'm doing that I'm gonna start on the string beans and the rice cause that's what completes this meal so let's get into it okay y'all I just took it out the oven but I just want to make sure it's like cooked a little more so baby's going to tense pull it down because you see we tried the piece and I ain't you know I got to make sure my chicken cook you know what I'm saying I don't know how everybody else do 
but I gotta make sure it's cooked all the way through. So we gonna temp foil it down, but it's been in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. I got my vegetables on, which I normally don't boil them, but Callie is like hungry. And I got my rice on. So, yes. That's what's going on. Right now, let me pull this up. That's what's going on right now. That's all I tend for. Yeah. But, you know, we're getting it together. We about to watch the fight. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but we about to watch the fight. And I'm going to put some Parmesan seasoning on my green beans. Once they get done, I think it'll just give it some flavor. And TikTok made me do it. I had to say it because, you know, y'all be saying that. TikTok made me do it. Okay. So, we'll get back when, you know. We get back. I gotta come back because I think it was blurry. But TikTok made us do it again. Because I don't know, this camera is like so good, but the lens you just gotta keep readjusting. So, hi guys. Kylie said hi. Oh, shoot. Hi guys. So. <laughs> we about to they about to throw it back in the oven oh y'all might be too close they about to throw it back in the oven we about to continue to watch the fight over there sis is here I think she came over because she knew I knew I, I was cooking but I'm not gonna say anything but yeah TikTok I got this recipe off TikTok Actually, I got another recipe off TikTok that it was like a little salad. So one day I'll show y'all about that too. But TikTok, be y'all need to go on TikTok. I'm just saying. I need sponsor. Look, Red Bull need to fucking sponsor me at this point because the bitch nails is on point. First of all, all like you need to. There you go. Turn the can around. Hello. Red Bull, give her a sponsorship. Thank you. She drinks it all day every, and all she got blue hair. Stop playing. She matched the whole can. You should become the image of the can. Period. Look, what the hat say? No cap. What you say?